Philip Health Services really feels like an extension of my family. I feel like if we um, are doing our job and doing it to our full ability, we not only um, love and care for our residents, but we need to love and care for their families as well. I grew up on a farm and ranch uh, about 11 miles south of Kadoka, which is about 40 miles from here. Um, small town girl, uh, feel right at home. Uh, the activity aid position came open um, spring of 2017 and I applied and um, have been in this position ever since. And it took me 20 years to find out where I'm supposed to be, but God definitely has put me where I need to be. This is this is a very rewarding, yet hard sometimes job, but very rewarding. Being from a rural area like this, I believe that um, we are able to connect more closely with our residents than maybe, say, if you're in a facility that has 75 or 100 beds or something. The generations of the people in our facilities now um, probably saw the most change and lived in some of the hardest conditions um, that anybody will. And I love hearing that history and being able to share it with them and listening to them talk about it and light up when they talk about their school days or their babies when they were born. It's just very humbling and rewarding. We are in the middle of a um, addition remodel. Um, so not only did we have COVID last year, we also had construction. Um, it's been a very long, <laughs> long time. When it first started, I think everybody was in the same boat of all around healthcare, so uncertain. It was a challenge for me because I really didn't know what I was doing on the technology aspect at all. I walked myself through it. I'll probably never forget. I had a little lady, she was 99, and absolutely thought it was super dumb that she was talking to a computer screen to try to talk to her family. Um, but And she couldn't hear very good. And so I tried all the different kinds of speakers and all the things and she still couldn't hear very good. But she just kept saying, I can't believe I can see them. And I think our, our residents focused so much on seeing the person they were talking to that they weren't hearing them anyway. It was just so happy to see them. Talking on the phone just doesn't do it sometimes when you just want somebody to hold your hand and hug you. We are lucky here to be able to, to hold those hands and give those hugs when they need them. I think that's what kept some of our residents going each day. There's no I in team, so I couldn't have done what I did without the help of CNAs and management staff and physical therapy who jumped in to help us when things got bad. You can't do it without your team. You're only as good as your team is. That being said, we have a phenomenal team here um, and, and we just complement each other well. I, I don't feel like being called a hero is something that I need to be called because I don't feel like I did anything any different than anybody else. <laughs>